Asta Mechanical, ah, nee, Asta Mechanical Game Keyboard. Ja. Wel steeds moeilijke stukjes, hè? Hij <laughs> maakt niet uit. Kan ik andersom doen? Is goed. Nee. <laughs> nee, vriend. Sorry, okay. sorry. What's up, guys? We are CFX Squad. And today we are unboxing the Asta Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. So, the Asta Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. First off, First off, first impressions. Yeah, well, first thing, love the click. So that's a good thing. I like that they uh, put a little window, you know, the, the Try Me sticker on the toys. They have it in the, uh, in the box, I like that. First impressions uh, for the image on here, I think I love the minimal look. So that's important to me. I don't like too much extras and stuff. It's just like a normal keyboard design. Uh, it's just like this and love it. It's time to unbox this tiger. Yeah. Let's go. I'll let you do the honors. Thank you. Ooh. All right, here it is. Look at it in all its glory. It looks good, I have to be honest. First impressions, it looks like it's premium material. Yeah. What do you think? A braided oh, cable. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. I love it. Let's get it out of here. Yeah. It's On the, the bottom, you'll find your mechanical keyboard. I think it's an instruction manual. And I like the way they did it. It's pictures. So everybody, even your mom, can understand this. That's nice. And of course, a trust sticker. So let's move this away. All right. And let's let us watch the board. All right, it's very minimal. I think it's very... Oh, whoa, try this. What? It doesn't even move. It's like one piece. No, but it's, it, it's really sturdy. Normally you have like keyboards have a wimble, travel a wimble. In, in their board, uh -huh. like you can see it bend. This doesn't bend. No. What's this on the other side? That's a, uh, uh, I know what it is. It's a keycap puller. And why do we use it? To pull keycaps. Why do we want to pull keycaps? Well, fellow gamers, we need to clean our keyboards. That's why. Clean your keyboards. Make sure that its lifespan is actually as long as advertised by cleaning it and maintaining it. Yeah, so the convenient thing about this thingy is you put it over a key, pull it out and... Holy, oh, bro. Just like that. What? So this way, if you do it like all the way, you can even replace keycaps. So if you game a lot and uh, keycaps get worn or something, I don't think it will happen to this one, but... Nope. Eventually it can happen or it breaks or you spilled some uh, coke on it or something. This way you can just easily clean it, replace them and yeah, use it again. So, love it. Yeah, my old keyboard doesn't have a, a keycap remover, so I do it by hand uh -huh. and that's a hassle. Try can I try it. this? Yeah. I wanna, I'm gonna try it. So you put it around your finger uh -huh. and then what? Uh, sideways, so yeah. Like this? Uh, yeah, just put it and easy, easy pull. Oh wait, just like that. Guys, if I can do this, everyone can do this, believe me. Yeah. Wow, this is nice. Yeah. Inside this board, I see red switches, and I love red switches. Why do we use different switches? Well, every switch has its own feel to it. It's like a thing like a car. You prefer one, and you dislike the other. So another thing I noticed about the Asta is the fact that it has anti-ghosting. What does that mean? Anti-ghosting is an important feature for a gaming keyboard. This means that if you push a lot of buttons at once, it still works. Very old keyboards, you know, like, like back in the day. If you press more keys than like five, six keys, it doesn't respond. And this keyboard will respond on every key you press at once. So you have limitless input, that's what you're limitless saying? Limitless input, that's what I'm saying, yeah. All right, cool. So if I can hold this bad boy for a moment. Yes. Yeah, it feels sturdy, I love it. Another thing that I really like, I'm really big on cable management. Oh man, yeah. I'm very messy and I tend to get uh, stuck on things with my headset with cords. What I like it, is that it has a cable channel. Ooh, nice. You can put it like through here, but you can also put it through here. So nice. it doesn't go all over the place. That's another thing I like. What do you and prefer? I think I prefer it like this. Yeah. Because it means less cable to worry about. I'm always putting my desktop PC on the left side of my desk, but I know you put it on your yeah. right side. I have the desktop on my right, on so my setup, yeah. This makes uh, life easier. And another thing I really like is that even the cable and the output really feels solid. And I like the fact that it has a cap on the USB. We go to LAN parties a lot, and one of the things you have when you travel is that you have a lot of dirt in your bag and just filthy stuff like chips and you know all the good stuff. This keeps your USB clean. I've tried this keyboard before, but you have it at home. So let's see if you find any difference between yours at home, your Asta, and this one. The first typing test on this one. You ready? 
Love it. For some people, this is ASMR. If you like the sound, you can just loop this. Just well, loop I've been using this keyboard for six months now, I think. And I must say, I really love uh, typing on it and working on it. So I use this keyboard a lot for gaming, but also for working. If you're writing an email and then five minutes later you want to switch to gaming, you don't need to change your keyboard. You can just use this one and game on it and switch it back and just type another email. A very important feature on the keyboard is pressing the function key and the Windows key. And this way it disables the Windows key because it happened very often to me and I think to you that you uh, accidentally switched to Windows. The pinky slip. Also a very important feature on this keyboard is the top row function keys. Yeah, it has 11 direct media access keys. So if you're a streamer and you play FPS games and you want to play some music in the lobby, just push your function key and press play. And of course, like every keyboard, you can put these things up and you have a different angle. So if you prefer a more uh, tilted, tilted, tilted tilted angle, yeah. Yeah, then you can use it that way or just put it away and move it flat. And it works just great. Okay, Thomas, I think first impressions are really good, but there's only one way to find out if the Asta is any good. Yep. And that's by gaming. Let's play some Rainbow Six Siege. The Asta mechanical keyboard. Let's put it to the test. I mean, uh, I'm in a game of uh, Terrorist Hunt on Rainbow Six Siege now, one of my favorite games that I spend a lot of time in. Okay, the first thing that I like, the way it feels. Yeah. It's satisfactory. Nice. Uh, one of the things that I would do is um, give my WASD mm -hmm. my own color profile. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's my cool. shortcuts. That is possible with this keyboard, so that's cool. If I'm buying this keyboard, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. And make sure that my, all my shortcuts are where I need them and where I want them. But so it the, feels good. Yeah, the right? It feels it's premium. Like, yeah. It feels, it's sturdy. It doesn't feel like it has a lot of wiggle room. Do you know what I mean? With yeah. Wiggle room, yeah, like. Yeah. A lot of keyboards have like the caps that are, they're uh, wiggly. They have a lot of room left, right and diagonal. Mm -hmm. These feel sturdy. It's not something I would um, uh, use in the office for the sole reason that it is loud, yeah. it is clicky, but that's what a gaming keyboard should be. Another thing I really like that it's multi-color, RGB. I love RGB, everything RGB for me. If you visit my gaming room, you shall see that it's like a carnival there because I like colors and I like a lot of them. It's like my mind, mm -hmm. it's very busy. <laughs> you also have different uh, profiles for, uh, for the colors. All right. So if you uh, think it's distracting. Give me, give me the most busy one. I want to see the most busy one. This is what you just said, you know, W-H-S-D. Yeah, w -S -S -D. yeah. That's cool, and also the arrow keys. But you can also program it like only the keys you want to see are yeah. popping up with color. And um, this is just off. Kind of like that too, so you can switch between it. And this is, I think, where you touch it. You know, you see it? Ooh, that's fancy. Yeah. And this is I like, like breathing. So a lot of options. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is my new keyboard. Yeah, a lot of colors, a lot of profiles. Love it. So I really like keyboards. I'm very into keyboards, and I'm very picky on keyboards. And what I said, I like typing on it. So if I like chatting in game, and going back to gaming again. You know, the, both of the, the yeah, feels yeah. are great. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Overall, I must say I'm really in love with this keyboard. Yeah, me too. I have to say, like, if we look back on what we just found out about this keyboard, mm -hmm. um, it has color. <laughs> That's my most important thing. Yeah. Feels sturdy. Feels R premium. RGB. Yeah. What is your most important feature that you like on this I, keyboard? I really like the key switches. I really like the, the feel of it. Um, and I really love that it doesn't move around on your desk. That, that's like the number one thing I need in a keyboard.